name's Isabel. I'm the project engineer at Broad River Solar. So what I take care of is everything from procurement of the materials to making sure that we install everything correctly and then making sure that at the end everything works properly. And I'm kind of like the bridge between the office and the field. So just making sure that everyone's communicating throughout the whole project. So I studied environmental engineering at Georgia Tech. I graduated last December and I started with Solve right after graduation. I was interested in working in solar because it's really awesome to see something being built right in front of you that is positive for the environment. Uh, my name is Ralph Guerra. I'm the superintendent for Broad River. I was a subcontractor doing all the civil work uh, with uh, Stockbridge and then worked my way into Solve. I oversee all construction activities on site, um, manpower, subcontractors, vendors, and all EPC activities in the PV field. <laughs> That's all I got. He's the boss. So this project is a 50 megawatt solar site and uh, we have 55 sediment basins that catch any storm water and make sure that everything's clean leaving the site. We also um, are a unique site because on almost every block we have some sort of wetland or waterway that's on the border of the block and we're also separated into six chunks throughout a residential area instead of just one big solar field. Well, one of the main differences we had here were the amount of uh, creeks, the, the BMPs that were installed here, it, the ponds that we had to build just the activities, the, the, the clearing, the, the base, just the foundation we had to do before we could actually build. A lot of our other projects, you know, we were able to install quickly the BMPs and it's relatively flat. Here we've had tons of uh, challenges to keep all activity on site, especially if it rained with our um, stormwater, you know, control issues that we, uh, controlled that uh, we didn't have any and just uh, it was challenging to keep everything going. So being in North Carolina it's a particularly um, hilly mountainous area with a lot of trees, a lot of wetlands, a lot of creeks, a lot of wildlife. At the beginning of the project we had to be careful of uh, protected birds throughout the project. We had to be careful of protected plants that were all around the site and to take care of all of that we worked really closely with our um, subcontractors and industry partners to make sure that the plans had all the BMPs that we needed to protect the areas and also if any changes need to be made in the field we worked really closely with them to make sure that everything stayed on site and no sediment left the site. So this is a sediment basin and um, essentially we want any stormwater runoff to come filter through the, these rocks, come in, filter through these baffles, and then the water filters one more time through that skimmer. And then again, when it goes out over more rocks, another silt fence, and then the water should be clean by the time it gets to the creek that's right behind this basin. And we have these um, all over Broad River, a total of 55, and um, they're just protecting all the waterways. One of the biggest challenges that we saw was just when you're actually walking in the field, it's a little bit different than what the plans expect it to be. So a lot of times we had to make changes to the elevations and grading, changes to where we put sediment basins. Um, at one point we even had a stream that was flowing through the middle of the job site. So we just had to make a lot of real-time decisions to make sure that everything uh, was staying on course. So this is another example of a um, unforeseen site condition that we had to work around. So the sediment basin behind me, we had to move it um, up closer to the array and also build it up because the groundwater table was so high we couldn't actually dig a basin into the ground. And then also when we were trying to drive these piles here, we were hitting a lot of water and we couldn't meet our compaction. So um, we worked with Kinley Horn to come up with plans to make a reverse French drain. So the groundwater comes up into the drain and then comes out behind um, this basin here. One of the greatest challenges we had were the bores. We had to bore under all the creeks to get the power from this side of the project in Andrews Creek where we're at, all the way to the substation. I think it's like three miles, not not 100% on that number, but it's about three miles. And um, we hit a lot of rock, so it really put our schedule in delay, but uh, we managed to, to get it 
and uh, it, that was probably the most challenging thing we had on site. So because the job site was so broken up and we had to get all of the power back up to the substation, we had to bore under um, 12 different locations. Some of them were roads, some of them were creeks. This is an example of one of the creeks we had to bore under and we hit a lot of rock that was unexpected so we ended up bringing on a subcontractor so we had two crews running at the same time to try to make it to the end of the project and we were able to meet our completion deadlines. One of the, one of the big takeaways I can from this job is just uh, I've learned to rely on my team you know I, it, it takes a team to build a project like this and um, just putting trust in them, holding them accountable for their activities, really tested my leadership and how to motivate people to be on site and, and keep the positive attitude. Coming out of college, I didn't really have any idea of what the construction industry was like. And um, once I got here, I realized that it's really important to work with your site team and how close of a family that we can become trying to get through all these issues and have all these accomplishments together. So here's one of the examples we have of, of, uh, of our challenges. We actually have an active creek that runs through our arrays, as you can see from here to here. So we had to come up with the design, my team and I, to contain the water to help it from eroding the inside of the array. So we developed this uh, rock creek here that uh, filters the water as it leaves the job site and everything's in compliance and uh, our team and myself are very proud of our uh, invention here. So yay team Broad River. 